Hello everyone. I'd like to introduce what we call the Tommy tool. It is a BMB modules professional detector V4. It's made by Winstart Technology in Hong Kong and is sold in the United States by TESX Dot net and further information you can contact me at paul at tesx dot net uh, this is the model tsx dash bpr v4 7.24 To give a little information on the machine itself, this can connect to your battery once the rear cover is open. This is the connector that you have to take and disconnect from the module so you are connected directly to all 16 modules or 14 modules, depends which style you have. And then once you're down to individual modules, this will also work on each individual modules, do testing. Let's get into it. I have it connected to a 100 kilowatt pack. 2019 that's having some issues. I'll kind of show you what it does. So you connect the tool to the harness to the battery module, power on the device, and wait for the state of charge and the module voltage to display to ensure the battery is. Isolated and safe before proceeding. So then we have to start out the overall testing button, which you see is right here. I call this the heartbeat. It just tells you that it is working and everything is available at this point. Uh, you see the state of charge is rather low on this pack. She's at 23%. So, we'll kind of take a look here. On the overall, which you see there, uh, the function tests individual battery cells for voltage and health. Support sim simultaneously testing of multiple modules. So this is on a 16 module. So what you do is you press one, press the overall, and if you notice the delta has gone up, this will flash for 30 seconds. Starts with cell zero, and then each up to all five bricks in each module. Uh, what it's doing is putting pressure or resistance tests on each module and each brick to see what's going on. And now you compare Delta values in the same column with smaller delta increments indicate healthier cells. Uh, note B0 and B5 delta values are typically lower due to a New York uh, unique circuit design at the ends. Anonymies of anomalies will appear, inspect a cell, or a connection. So let's go through this. 
And we're going to go through this overall again. And you notice the delta's popped up. It's putting pressure on it. And let's go down and let's see. We can look at all of them there. If you take a look at number 10, we got a problem there. We, it, it picked it out instantly. It picked it up. It's just screaming, I've got a problem. And if you look close, you get an idea which brick is going on. And you see now the delta stayed high once we put the pressure on that pack. This tool is just amazing for finding these issues. So let's, uh, let's go down and explain a few more things that this thing will do. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to try the dynamic balancing button. Uh, the function balances cell voltage to main up pack health using BMB board internal maintenance functions. This helps once you've repaired a pack and trying to bring the pack back into balance. This is the best tool I have used yet for after we repair and bringing it back ready to install back in the car. Um, basically how you use this, you'll see the left bar over here set at two millivolts. And you adjust the left bar for minimum activation voltage. Um, and the minimum it'll go to is two millivolts. But as you can tell, this will go up. There are 67 millivolts. But I like to try for two millivolts. And then you've got your, then you adjust the right slider for minimum activation voltage. So I got this one set at 3.2. So when it gets below 3.2 voltage, it will it will shut the machine off and, and stop uh, the resistance. So basically, now you press the bar button to start dynamic. And the balancing will stop when the voltage falls below the set minimum or differences are resolved. This is for maintenance only. It uses a 47 ohm resistor with a 100 milliamp current for precise low power balancing. And you can monitor this on the screen. So we can go down and you can monitor it and watch it working. You definitely look at number 10, how much problems there is there. All right, let's move on. Uh, this tool has an internal resistance calculation button. That's calculation right there. Calculate. It measures the internal resistance to identify faulty cells or connections. You press a button, the light blue turns on during the calculation, and the screen will freeze. And it won't allow you to touch the screen, and it can take up to 15 minutes for a 16 module pack, or about a minute per module when you're working on an individual module. Uh, compare resistance values in the same column. If a value exceeds the average by 20% or more, it indicates a malfunction. You got to check the cells, wiring, the sockets. You got to be patient while working with this, but it will save you a ton of time. And then you basically have the reconnect button. All right, let's go down to do the calculate. Let's move up. 
So once you've got her calculated, we can move over and see the resistance values. So here's full cell resistance in ohms. And if you look across, you can see there, there's our problem. Number 10 module is our problem. And R2 and R3 looks to be where our issues are. So this one needs to come apart. And the nice thing is, once I pull this module out, I can check the module itself just by plugging in with the individual module connector and use the tool just on the one and then I can get it all balanced before I put it right back into the pack. And then you've got your reconnect button, which basically if you unplug, plug back in, you can hit reconnect. Uh, it's got an E prom reading function. Uh, it reads battery key parameters for diagnostics. Uh, Integrated into other tests, reads upper voltage limits, lower voltage limits, upper temperature limits, voltage, voltage difference, and temperature automatically. Uh, no separate activation needed. Values appear during all operations. Here again, this is probably the most state-of-the-art tester right now for the 2012 through 2020 Model S and Model X battery packs. I believe there is one coming for the newer packs, but it is not available yet. It's still being tested. Here again this is a tool that we call the Tommy tool because Tommy's the one that has designed this and we have worked with him to make this an, an amazing tool. And I'm selling them here at TESX in Armstrong, Iowa to American uh, United States only uh, sales. And you can find it at TESX.net. And I'm Paul Erickson. And on some videos at Forklifts by day, Tesla's by night, and got a lot of packs to repair here, so we will continue on, and thank you for watching my video.